Mario and Luigi. Where did they come from? Well, my young waffle, when a mother and father love each other, they... What? No! Stop! That's not what I meant! Well, I guess it kind of is. The Mario family has one of the most confusing and mysterious family trees that I've ever seen. All we really know in the family is Mario and Luigi, but there's gotta be more than that. Humans don't just pop out of Yoshi eggs, cause that would be kind of gross. So with that being said, who are the Mario Brothers' parents? Are they a long-lost mystery? One that will take only the finest of investigative work to uncover? Or has the answer been right under our noses this whole time? Well, only one way to find out. Let's go! So in order to find out who Mario and Luigi's parents are, we're going to have to go back. Back to when the Mario Brothers were just little babies. During the opening cutscene of Yoshi's Island, Mario and Luigi are being carried by the stork during a seemingly peaceful night. After you beat the game, we're shown that Mario and Luigi have been safely delivered to the doorstep of their new family. Mama and Papa? Mario. Is that their last name? I don't know. However, the man and woman shown here are not the true parents of Mario and Luigi. Sure, in magical rainbow land, babies just appear and then get delivered by the stork. But that's not how things really work. Besides, there is proof of Mario and Luigi's real parents, and they have appeared in games before. And it all starts back in 1981 with the original Donkey Kong Arcade Game. The Donkey Kong Arcade Game features three prominent characters, Donkey Kong, Pauline, and Jumpman. Now, I can't really think of a subtle or poetic way to put this, so I guess I'll just say it. It's very possible that the parents of Mario and Luigi are Jumpman and Pauline from the original Donkey Kong game. Yeah. Now, let me explain that a little bit more. Starting off with Donkey Kong, which is kind of a weird place to start if you think about it. But it's important, I promise. Because the first argument you might have is, how can Pauline be Mario's mom? She's appeared by his side, looking as youthful as ever. And that's where Donkey Kong comes in. As we all know, the original Donkey Kong who appeared in the arcade game is confirmed to have grown up and became Cranky Kong from the Donkey Kong Country series, the bitter and wisecracking old man. And Donkey Kong Jr. from the arcade game grew up to be the cool, hip, tie-wearing Donkey Kong that we all know and love. So, using that logic, Jumpman and Pauline also would have aged, making this Mario and Pauline not the same ones from the original Donkey Kong game, mainly considering the fact that in Donkey Kong, Pauline has blonde hair and a pink dress, and here she has brown hair. We'll get to that in a second. This is all just kind of confusing and making my head hurt. In short, it's possible that Jumpman and Pauline are the parents of the Mario Brothers, and it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Mario and Luigi both inherited a lot from their dad, mustache, sense of style, and when the brothers grew up, they even entered the same line of work, following their dad's footsteps in the construction business. Jumpman was a carpenter, and the Mario brothers are of course plumbers. There's even official artwork of Mario when he was a baby, getting into all kinds of shenanigans with his parents. And while he's with his mother, you can very faintly see blonde hair, with her face being covered up of course. So, okay, let's just say that you completely agree with what I'm saying, and that Jumpman and Pauline are indeed the brothers' parents. If so, your next question might be, okay, so then, where are they now? And why were Mario and Luigi being carried by the stork to be delivered to a new family? Well, if you need more proof, here we go. But I'm warning you. This is where things kind of take an unexpected, dark turn. But don't worry, there's a happy ending. Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> wow. 
I never thought I'd start off a dark story with the phrase, Donkey Kong Jr. But let's continue. Donkey Kong Jr. follows the adventure of Donkey Kong Jr., who, as a quick reminder, is this Donkey Kong now, who goes off to rescue his father, Donkey Kong, from the evil Jumpman. Eventually, Donkey Kong Jr. reaches his father and saves him. But then something morbid happens. The floor collapses, and while Donkey Kong is falling, his son catches and saves him. But as for Jumpman, he wasn't so lucky. He falls to his death. There's even a halo around him to confirm it. And this death scene with the Halo was only added to the NES port of the game. In the arcade version, they all just slip away. No casualties. So, why would they do that here? That's kind of an un-Nintendo thing to do. Regardless, Jumpman is dead. The Donkey Kong family got their revenge. And the Mario family now must make a decision. Mario and Luigi were definitely born at this time. They were just little babies. We know this because Donkey Kong Jr. was also a baby during this game. And in Yoshi's Island DS, we see a baby Mario, Luigi, and Donkey Kong all around the same age. So, when Pauline heard the news of her husband, she feared for her family's life. Little Mario and Luigi were just born and they were going to grow up without a father, and with their life in constant danger from Donkey Kong. So she made a very difficult decision for her children. She had the stork take them away, taking them somewhere safe, somewhere where they could live a normal life and have a normal childhood. Pauline loved her family very much and only wanted to do what was best for them. But what was Pauline going to do now? Well, she was going to be taking care of her new daughter. Yeah, remember how I said we would talk about this, Pauline? Well, it's also possible, and this is a stretch, that this Pauline is the sister of Mario and Luigi. She kind of looks like them, big bulging eyes and brown hair. And the manual for Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2 March of the Minis says that Mario and Pauline are great friends. Great enough to be brother and sister. But that part was all wild speculation. As for their parents, I like to believe that that was the true story. A story of mystery, love, tragedy, all wrapped together with a happy ending. Mario and Luigi growing up to be amazing heroes, saving the Mushroom Kingdom on multiple occasions, and Pauline seeing her children doing all of these great things throughout their entire life, being very proud of the people they turned out to be, and knowing that their father would have been just as proud. But hey, how does that saying go? That's just a theory, right? Whether or not you choose to believe that is up to you. It's just a Mario game, so try not to get too worked up about it. And until next time, I'll see you later.